Hello students. Today I am with the second chapter of class 9 mathematics and the chapter is polynomials. What is a polynomial? Polynomial is an algebraic expression. It is an algebraic expression and the necessary condition for a polynomial is that the power of the variable in an algebraic expression, the power of the variable or the degree of the variable of a polynomial must be always a positive integer. I repeat, in a polynomial, the power or degree of the variable must be a positive integer. The power should not be minus the power should not be rational. Then, such an algebraic expression is called a polynomial. Our first exercise is simply related to the basic things about a polynomial. What is a polynomial? What is degree of a polynomial? So, I am not teaching the theory. Directly, I am coming to your first exercise. The questions of first exercise will give you the basic ideas about the polynomial. So along with the solution, I will give you the basic information regarding polynomials. Exercise 2.1, question number 1. Which of the following expressions are polynomials in one variable? Which of the following are the polynomials in one variable? What do you mean by polynomial in one variable? There must be only one variable seen throughout. If x is the variable, there must be only x. If y is the variable, only y. So which of the following is a polynomial in one variable and which are not? State reasons for your answer. First one. So question number one. First part, 4x square minus 3x plus 7. 4x square minus 3x plus 7. Yes, it is a polynomial in one variable. It is a polynomial because the power of x is 2 here, power of x is 1 here. Power of the variable in a polynomial must be a positive integer. 2 is a positive integer, 1 is also a positive integer. Only x means x power 1. But we do not write that power 1. So 2 and 1 are positive integers and there is only one variable also. So yes, it is a polynomial in one variable. Number 2. y square plus root 2 y square plus root 2 what will be the answer yes it is also a polynomial in one variable because here the variable is y the power is 2 2 is a positive integer so this is also a polynomial in one variable yes it is a polynomial in one variable number 3 3 root t 3 root t plus t root 2 Yes, look at this question 3 root t plus 2 root 2 Here the variable is 2 But, look at this variable 2 It is under root t Now, what is meaning of what is the power of root t? Root t means it is t power 1 upon 2. Under root t means t power 1 upon 2. If it is cube root of t, it is t power 1 upon 3. So here, the variable is only 1. t is the variable throughout. But it is not a polynomial. Reason, the power of t is 
rational. Under root t means t power 1 upon 2 for a polynomial power of the variable must be a positive integer. So here the power of t is not positive integer therefore the answer is no it is not a polynomial in one variable. Reason power of the variable is rational. Question number 4. It is y plus 2 upon y. y plus 2 upon y. y is okay. y power 1. But what is the meaning of 2 upon y? Here the variable y is in the denominator. Variable y in the denominator. It means actually the power of y is upon y means if we take this y to the numerator it is y power minus 1 if the variable in a polynomial is in the denominator it means its power is minus 2 upon y means 2 into y power minus 1 so remember if you see a variable in the denominator in any algebraic expression that is not a polynomial. The variable must always be in the numerator. Denominator means its degree or its power will be taken in minus. It is y power minus 1 which is not a positive integer. So the answer is no. Fifth one x power 10, y power 3, t power 10 x power 10 plus y power 3 plus t power 50. Here, the powers of the variables are all positive integer. But what is the question? Which of the following are polynomial in one variable? Here, how many variables are there in this expression? x, y and t. There are three variables in this expression. This is one variable, this is second and this is third. Power was plus, but the problem is, it is not a polynomial in one variable, but it is a polynomial in three variables. So, the answer is no. These two are not polynomial at all because the degree of the variable, here the degree of the variable is rational, here the degree of the variable is, sorry, here the degree is minus, here the degree is rational, here degrees are positive but there are three variables. So I hope all of you understood why this and this are S, these three are no, this is the reason. Now question number two. Question number 2. Write the coefficients of x square in each of the following. Write the coefficient of x square in each of the following. Two plus x square plus x. Two plus x square plus x. What is the question? Write the coefficient of x square in each of the following polynomial. What do you mean by coefficient? Coefficient means the numerical value that is present along with a variable is called its coefficient. Here we are asked to find the coefficient of x square. So, along with the term x square, whatever is the numeral present, whatever is the constant present, is called its coefficient. So, you have to look only one term in each of the question, which term x square, because we are asked to find the coefficient of x square. So, this is the x square term. This is our x square term. And what is the numeral along with x square? Only x square means 1x square. Normally, 1 will not be written. 
So only x square means 1 x square. So coefficient of x square in this question is coefficient of x square in this question is 1. Now second question. Second question is 2 minus x square plus x cube. 2 minus x square plus x cube. Once again, look at the x square term. This is the x square term, but what is the numeral along with this x term? It is minus 1. So the answer is coefficient of x square is minus 1. So plus x square means plus 1. Minus x square means x square into minus 1. So the coefficient of x square in this question is minus 1. Question number 3. Pi upon 2 x square plus x. Pi upon 2 x square plus x. Now you can see very easily the x square term is this and the coefficient of x square is pi upon 2. The numeral that is present along with x square is called its coefficient. So, coefficient of x square in this question is pi upon 2. Pi upon 2. Now, fourth one. root 2x minus 1 it is root 2x minus 1 in this question root 2x minus 1 do we have x square term? no there is no x square term at all if there is no x square term at all in an expression or in a polynomial what will be the coefficient of x square? 0 because since there is no x square term in this expression, if we want, we can write it as plus 0 x square. If the coefficient of a term is 0, then that entire term has value 0. So since there is no x square term at all in this question, either we can consider this expression as root 2x minus 1 plus 0 x square. Or simply you remember, if there is no x square term at all in the given question, always its coefficient will be 0. So, coefficient of x square in this question is 0. So, coefficient of any particular term means the numerical value present along with that particular term is called its coefficient. So, we have seen the coefficient of x square in each of these questions. Now let's see question number 3. And question number 3 is Give one example of each of a binomial of degree 35. Give one example of binomial of degree 35. Binomial of degree 35. Give an example. What do you mean by binomial? Binomial means having two terms. Monomial means a polynomial having only one term is called monomial. A polynomial with two terms is called binomial. Polynomial with three terms is called trinomial. And a polynomial with any number of terms is called polynomial. An algebraic expression with two terms. An algebraic expression with two terms is called binomial. So two conditions are asked here. It must be a binomial and its degree must be 35. So you can write plenty of answers for this question. It is up to you. There must be two terms 
and the degree of this expression must be 35. So it can be x power 35 plus 10. There are two terms, so it is a binomial and the power of x is 35. So it is a binomial of degree 35. You can make plenty of other examples also. y power 35 plus 100 z power, power 35 minus 200. So many examples. And one more thing. And of a monomial of degree 100. Second, monomial of degree 100. Monomial of degree 100. Very easy. There must be only one term and degree must be 100. So answer x power 100. x power 100 or y power 100, t power 100, k power 100. All are examples of monomial of degree 100. So this question was just to make you understand what is called binomial, what is called monomial and what is meant by degree. Now question number 4. Question number 4. Write the degree of each of the following polynomial. Now you are given some polynomials and you have to write the degree of each of this polynomial. First one. 5x cube plus 4x square plus 7x 5x cube plus 4x square plus 7x What is the degree of this polynomial? Degree of a polynomial is the highest power of its variable I repeat, degree of a polynomial is the highest power or the greatest power of the variable present in it. Here, there is x power 3, x power 2 and x power 1, which is the highest power 3. So, degree of this polynomial is 3. So the highest power of the variable present in a polynomial is called its degree. Question number 2. 4 minus y square. 4 minus y square. It is very easy. All of you know. Degree of this polynomial is 2. Because the highest power of the variable is 2. Next one. 5t 5t minus under root 7 here the variable is t only t means t power 1 so degree of this polynomial is 1 5t t means t power 1 so degree 1 and the next one is only 3 Fourth question, there is only one numeral given to you, 3. What is the degree of the polynomial 3? 3 means there is no variable at all. So 3 can be written as, 3 can be written as 3 into x power 0. Because anything power 0 is 1. Remember, Anything power 0, the value is 1. x power 0 equal to 1. y power 0 equal to 1. Anything power 0 is 1. So, here we have only a constant 3. So, if you want to show it along with a variable, you can write it as 3x power 0 or 3y power 0. So, what is the degree of this polynomial? 0. Or simply you can remember, degree of any constant is 0. Degree of any constant is always 0. 
because any constant can be written as that constant along with x power 0, y power 0, any variable with power 0. So, degree of a constant is 0. Now, the last question, question number 5, and the question is classify the following as linear, quadratic, and cubic polynomial. Question number 5. Classify the following questions as linear, quadratic and cubic polynomial. Let me explain what is meant by a linear polynomial. A linear polynomial is a polynomial of degree 1. A quadratic polynomial is a polynomial of degree 2. A cubic polynomial is a polynomial of degree 3. So, degree 1 polynomial is called linear polynomial. Degree 2 polynomial is called quadratic polynomial. Degree 3 polynomials are called cubic polynomial. Question number 1. X square plus X. X square plus X. What is the degree of this polynomial? Degree 2. So, what is this? It is quadratic polynomial. It is quadratic polynomial. Question number 2. X minus X cube. You can see the degree of this polynomial is 3. So it is a cubic polynomial. Question number 3. Y plus Y square plus 4. Y plus Y square plus 4. The highest power of the variable is 2. So it is again quadratic. It is also quadratic. Next is 1 plus x. Fourth one. 1 plus x. Only x. What is the degree? x means x power 1. So it is linear polynomial. Degree 1 polynomials are called linear polynomial. 1 plus x means x power 1. It is linear polynomial. Next is 3t. 3t. 3t means t power 1. So this is also linear polynomial. Sixth one r square it is r square we know that the degree is 2 so it is quadratic polynomial degree 2 so it is quadratic polynomial and the last question is 7x cube Seven x cube. The power of the variable is three, so it is cubic polynomial. It is a cubic polynomial. So degree two polynomials are called quadratic. Degree one polynomial is called linear, and degree three polynomial is called cubic. So that's all. The first exercise two point one is over. Now I am coming up with exercise 1.2.